In Louisiana, Mondays are synonymous with red beans and rice. Restaurants have it on their menus as their Monday lunch special, and I remember as a kid having it on Mondays in the school cafeteria. The meal's association with Mondays comes from way back when, when the week's laundry was done every Monday. The chore was labor intensive, so there was not a lot of time to devote to cooking. They were able to simmer red beans for hours, reusing the leftover ham bone from the Sunday lunch the day before. Red beans and rice is a simple and humble dish, but its heartiness and flavor makes it a favorite amongst many. Even Louis Armstrong in his biography said it was his favorite meal of all time. If you've never had it, I think you'll like it. Let's make it. For ingredients, you'll need one tablespoon or 13 grams of oil, one pound or 450 grams of smoked sausage. I'm using andouille, but use any good quality smoked pork sausage. Two ribs of celery, one green bell pepper, two onions, and four cloves of garlic. Does this sound familiar? One pound of red kidney beans. I like Camellia brand from New Orleans, but use any good quality red bean that you can find. One smoked ham hock. You won't eat this, but it's used to develop a deep smoky flavor. Salt to taste, this is about one teaspoon, and a quarter teaspoon or one gram of cayenne. This is optional, especially if you're sensitive to heat. Creole seasoning, and two bay leaves. An important step that should not be missed is to soak the kidney beans in water overnight. The beans will absorb the water and will cut the cooking time by half. When ready to cook, rinse and drain the beans and set aside. Get started by heating the oil over medium-high heat. Once the oil's hot, add the sausage. I chop mine into quarters like this, that way the bites are not too big. Also, don't be dumb like me and splatter hot oil all over the place. Saute the sausage over medium-high heat for about five minutes. The goal is to develop a nice brown color on the sausage. This helps the dish develop more flavor. Scrape up any of the bits that sticks to the bottom of the pot. Once happy with the color, go ahead and add the vegetables. Saute the vegetables with the sausage for about five to 10 minutes until they develop a nice golden brown color. One key step is to not add the garlic too soon. Saute the vegetables first and then add the garlic. Cooking garlic the same length as the onion will result in burnt garlic and will taint the dish. Stir and cook the garlic for about one minute. Now it's time to add in the drained beans. Stir and combine for one minute. Add in enough water to cover the beans by about one inch or two and a half centimeters. Add in the bay leaves, salt, cayenne and creole seasoning, and ham hock. If you're unable to find one, a ham bone will work just as well, or omit. Raise your heat and bring to a boil for five minutes. Reduce to a simmer and cook the beans for about two and a half to three hours, stirring periodically. Be sure to be on a gentle simmer. You don't want the pot to be too hot and the beans stick to the bottom. Since we have three hours to kill, I want to show you something that someone commented on in my last video. Someone mentioned the fancy way I cut my bell pepper, and this is how you do it. Start with the bell pepper laying on its side, and then as you turn the bell pepper, slice at a diagonal. This is beneficial because it removes the white pith of the bell pepper, as well as all the seeds. But here's the thing, cut the bell pepper however you want to. I'm on YouTube, so I cut it fancy. Cooking should be delicious. It doesn't have to be fancy, especially Cajun cooking. This is rustic cooking at its finest. So as long as you're cooking, that's all that matters. All right, back to the red beans. One important thing to note is you may have to add water throughout the cook and that's totally fine. Just keep an eye on it. If it starts to drop low, add a half a cup of water here and there. During the duration of the cook, the beans will reduce down and make their own sauce. It'll go from being very glossy to almost being kind of a matte color. And that's exactly what you're looking for. Around the two and a half hour mark, start tasting the beans. If they're hard, keep simmering them for another 30 minutes. At this time, take a firm spoon, like a wooden spoon, and start smashing some beans into the side of the pot. Stir the beans in. This will create the ideal true Louisiana red beans consistency. After all that time, it's time to dish up and eat. If you're like me, you're probably starving by now. So add about a cup and a half of rice with equal portions of red beans, some cornbread, and of course, some Louisiana hot sauce. And there you have it. Let me know in the comments below if you make this. I'd love to hear about it. If you're into this type of thing, please like the video and subscribe. 
I'll see you guys next time.